Maak of jy mal is en doen alles. That was pretty cool. Welcome back to Airbro's review essay in conjunction with Pelagans.com. We've got another air rifle yet again to review. It's going to be a stunning one. See you now. All right. While unboxing this beautiful Bayrach HW 100 TK, guys, feast your eyes on this. I must say it comes in a nice hard box, it's not a flimsy one. If you open it up, you'll see it's nicely packaged in the inside. You've got a little target that's in there. You've got your manual stating how to fill it, how to put your bottle, how to do all those things. Everything in detail in this little manual, which is very nice. Then additional little manual on how to use your buttstock and your cheek piece, how it moves and all those things. That's pretty cool. Have a look, let's go see this little boxy here. So it's got two magazines I see, it's got a degassing tool for your cylinder and then you've got a full quick coupler, well it's a full um, adapter that you put into your cylinder and then you can screw your cylinder into it to charge it up that way if you don't have a full station. Then it's got a full probe on the inside there as well so guys that is pretty good so this is a 2-2 version so it's got two magazines which is 14 shots each um, upon looking in the box you get your cylinder loose in the box have a look at that it is loose so all you need to do is either use that brass fitting on the end here and then charge it up through your bottle or it's got a full probe port right there in the front and then your manometer right there in the front. So this is a 200 bar full. While we do the review and shoot, we'll see how many shots per full we get out of this bad boy. Um, furthermore, taking it out of the box, let's see what else you get. Oh, you get this stunning air rifle. That's what I can say. Man, oh man, is she a looker. Look at that. Wow, wow, wee, wow. This is beautiful, guys. Look at that thing. Look at that. Feast your eyes on that beautiful stock that they've got right here. Yo, it's got a side lever cocking mechanism here on the side. Now that's for your magazine. There's your safety. It's got a yo, it's a very nice two-stage trigger that you can adjust. Um, your magazine port right there. It's got a dovetail rail on the top. But what's nice about this, it's got the little millimeters and centimeters right here. So you can see where to put on your scope if you want to. It's got nice writing on the side. It says Weirach HW100. And then you've got your 225.5 HW and your serial number. That's very nice. So this stock is very, very nice. So it comes with a little moderator if you can have a look at that in the front there. Let's put on this bottle and let's quickly see how it looks with the bottle and the weight. So let me quickly put this on. And screw it in. Wow, look at that. This is pretty decent, guys. So it's got some air in it. Let's check there. Wow, this feels balanced, eh? This really does feel balanced. Ooh, love this cheek piece. So it is semi ambidextrous. You can't change your cocking lever from the left to the right. So it is not stuck on the right hand side, but you'll be able to, if you're a left handed shooter, you'll be able to shoot with it quite easily. So the stock is ambidextrous. So that's quite nice. So it has got a thumb all stock, so you can either go through with your finger and with your thumb, or you can rest it on the side when you're shooting off the bench. So that's pretty 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 nice feature that they've got on you the buttstock is rubber so it grips nicely into your shoulder in the back there and yeah what I've also seen in the box here they give you a Picatinny rail that you can tighten on the top here that is pretty decent so if you don't want a dovetail or you want to put on a Picatinny scope mount 
put this on. So it comes in the box and you get two Allen keys. Or an uh, Allen key, sorry. One Allen key. And then inside, in the front, you get that little dust cap that will go right there in the front just to keep out the dust. So that's quite nice. I like that. So the total length of the barrel it's 410 millimeters and the total length of this air rifle is about a thousand and forty five millimeters which is quite short guys this is a compact version you get a smaller one I'm sure way smaller but this is quite nice so let's see something let's take off this little silence here It doesn't. It ends right here in the front. It's got a half inch UNF thread. So you know what's about what's nice about that? We've got the Vira XL silencer. And we're also gonna put this bad boy on and we're gonna hear the sound difference. So I don't know if you guys can hear it on the camera, but I'll try and get the best what I can. And then yeah, let me put on a scope and smash it down at 50 meters and see what pellets it likes and then get a nice grouping there so let's put this one side this is another scope i want to tell you guys that i really really like have a look at these t eagle optics this is a nice scope mount i've got it on there so it's a little bit at an angle it's a one piece it's got a little bubble level in the back there i like these things it's pretty cool you don't have to buy additional bubble levels they're all on this whole thing here. Okay, so that's just going to be my scope um, mount there for the side shot. Um, so this is a T-Eagle 10 by 44 SS, uh, SFSS. So this one is a SR glass, so they're pretty decent. And um, you'll see just now on the video how the reticle looks. It looks pretty nice. So let's go and have a 50 meter grouping. Let's see what I can get up to with this nice, beautiful air gun. See you guys now. I just want to show you guys. This is the Picatinny rail that you can install on the top right there. That is pretty decent and neat. What I've noticed about this magazine, it's not plastic. It's aluminium, which is quite nice. So if you load the pellets in, you'll see there will be a O-ring, two O-rings. This is the side that you'll put the pellets in facing forward and then you'll install it like that. So there will be a little white line. That little white line will face forward, which is quite lacquer. Then another thing is that I love about this air gun. Look at this, guys. So you can either opt for it for a spoon-type lever. That is pretty awesome. Then look at this. You've got another lever. To put on the side here yeah, to up for a biathlon lever guys this is bloody good let's stop talking let's put this gun this air gun all the way down there to 50 meters and let's see what grouping i can get all right so i'm going to do a five shot grouping with the exact jumbo rs's 13.43s that's what they are jsbs put them in this magazine pretty easy to do one thing i want to mention before i shoot you'll hear this gun is super quiet this is the standard silencer. I'll show you up on the screen what was the decibel reading for the standard one. It works quite well, but not as well as the Vira XL. You get the XLK model as well. Very quiet ones. I'll put that up in the screen right here to show you the decibel meter that I got from shooting with this one. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to load up here. Let's do a five shot grouping. As you can see, I've got my wind meter right there at the bottom. So as the wind blows, you'll see it moving around. Want to mention this cocking lever is very smooth, as well as the trigger pull. You'll see how consistent this air gun is in speeds. 881 It's very very reliable this air gun. I really love this air guns. 
So one thing that I want to mention is this thing is very quiet. You just hear the action hitting now at the moment and it's shooting 881 feet per second, more or less. So I'm going to put on the scope cam so you can see how the reticle looks. And I'm just going to blast some targets downrange there. Let's have a look how it goes. 881 879 879 872 Oh, this is fun, guys. This gun is very accurate. Super accurate. So I almost I can shoot without looking through the scope. The scope is pretty decent. As you guys could see through that video footage right there, it was very nice. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I want to mention as well, I got about 40 shots of a 0 0.175 liter um, cylinder, which is, that's really, really great. Um, from this air, air gun manufacturers, these guys, um, this is like a target gun. This will definitely, I mean, you just need to choose the pellet you want to shoot. I mean, it's not pellet fussy. So, yeah, this is the gun. I mean, look at the flipping stock here. This thing is decent. It's very nice. This laminate wall, uh, the stock here, these laminate stocks, they call it, I think this is a gray. It almost looks like a coffee laminate. But this thing is very, very catchy to the eye. Like they would say, it's a sexy gun. But yeah, let's go check the grouping downrange. So guys, look at that. That is some decent grouping right there, especially for the windy conditions today. That was my aim point and the wind is blowing all over, so I've got my five shot grouping there. That is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic one. All right, guys, as you can see, we did a five shot grouping at 50 meters. This air gun, it ticks all my boxes, really it does. You know, this wasn't sponsored to me. These are air guns that we've tried, tested, and we love them. These things are very accurate, as you could see on the video now, even in this windy conditions. Uh, it's got this beautiful stock right there. Guys, look at that, it's, an, it's a looker. It's a really, it's a beautiful looker. Um, especially with this silencer that I've put on the front here, it really does its justice. It looks and it sounds as good as it looks. Uh, this reticle on the scope also pretty decent. This air gun, I think it's really good for normal shooting around the yards and so on. And also doing a little bit of pest control or maybe target shooting, I really, do you think it's a it's a thumbs up so yeah i love it when manufacturers air gun manufacturers really give you a choice of let's say for argument's sake this throw lever right here you can either has it, have it as a spoon type or you can have it a biathlon that is to me i really like that um, when you have options on one air gun I think that's where everybody needs to move to, all the air gun manufacturers, you know, because not everybody likes the spoon type, not everybody likes the biathlon. So you can choose between the two. The same with the, with the scope mounts, um, <clears throat> the rail. you got Dovetail or you got Picatinny. That is fantastic. I really like that. Guys, more to this channel. Next week we'll have another air gun review. So please like, share and subscribe to see more of the air guns around the whole entire world really that is going to be flipping awesome i love doing these reviews just showing you how you get it in the box and how it shoots i love it check it out it's flipping fantastic guys love you lots see you again in the next episode yeah